so we are back with our card physics classes and we are going to have this session about quick review quick review of graphical presentation of motion and we are here with session number 13.3 chapter motion class 9 why we have come with a quick review of graphical presentation because we are having many parts in it so uh, since we have done all the parts and as i have told you that i'm going to give you a brief description about it so i am back with my quick review so let's see uh, stay tuned and just go ahead with me see what is there in this graphical presentation of motion as i have told you as i have uh, discussed in my previous videos that there are two types of graph the very first one is the distance time graph and the second one is a speed time graph okay in the distance time graph we have studied about uniform speed and about the non uniform speed so we we are having two types of graph in this case in the uniform speed what we have seen we have found out that we were having a straight line graph and the t time was on the x axis and distance was on the y axis whereas in non uniform speed case we are getting a curve uh, uh, in the graph and uh, again the time is shown on the x axis and distance on the y axis with the help of these graphs we are able to find out the distance which is given by speed into time this is all about our distance let's have a quick review of speed time graph in a speed time graph we are having three types of different graphs now in these three types of different graphs the very first one is is uh, is, a, is the graph in which a speed is constant and uh, due to which there is no acceleration in the uh, in the speed of the uh, there is no acceleration in the motion in such cases we are going to get a graph in which the speed remains constant this is straight line towards the parallel axis this straight line to the parallel axis uh, to x axis or the to parallel to time axis shows that the speed is constant because this line is showing us the velocity v is well, uh, referring here velocity that is the speed okay time is shown on x axis now the calculation part is that out of this graph what we can calculate is that uh, distance how to find out the distance if we find out the distance in this case you can see that distance is given by the area which is enclosed by the graph okay this line graph this graph uh, is this uh, constant and curve which you are getting here this is going to give this is going to enclose the whatever part is being enclosed by this this graph and uh, this time axis that part is going to give you the distance and we say that area enclosed by speed time curve and the time axis so this area will be equal to what since it is giving you a rectangle so the area will be given by the what distance is going to give is going to be equal to area of this rectangle and area of this rectangle will be what whatever is the velocity this length into this this length is what it is velocity so the final velocity into the time that means area will be given by speed into velocity in speed into time this one the same uh, concept has come here so in terms of area we can find out the distance with the help of this type of graph next we are having the second one as i told you speed time graph is having how many cases are there there are three cases okay in a speed time graph we are having three types of uh, cases a b and then c the first one is this one now let us go in the second case in, in the first case what is there Con speed is constant but in the second case in this uh, b part speed is changing at uniform rate okay in uni when when speed is changing at uniform rate you are having uniform acceleration and when uniform acceleration is there you are going to get a straight line so your your graph is somehow like this in which you are having a uniform acceleration this is the uh, this is a straight line which shows the uniform acceleration acceleration you have to keep in your mind that 
there are two cases for this uh, this uh, this type of uh, um, condition where a speed is changing at uniform rate there are two cases the cases are that uh, in first case you are having initial velocity as zero and in the second case you are having initial velocity not equal to zero so we have two graphs here when the initial velocity is zero this is the this is for the uh, for this type of uh, condition and when this and when we are not having initial velocity as zero so in such cases we are going to get this type of graph where the initial velocity is say u okay in this case initial velocity is zero that is why it has started from the origin but in this case you can see that the graph has not started from the origin okay now next what again as i have told you that time is shown on the x axis whereas the velocity or the speed is shown on the y axis this line is shown is showing you uniform acceleration here also this line is showing you uniform acceleration this is for the velocity initial velocity zero this is for the initial velocity not equal to zero next what there is another one case this is uh, about the downward acceleration which we say it is known as retardation where your acceleration is not increasing it is decreasing so we don't use the word acceleration over there we use the word retardation so here we are having uniform retardation again since uh, the word uniform is used all because the the speed is changing at uniform rate but in the decreasing order okay now the next one is about calculations here we are going to for the first case this one this case for this very first case you are going you are going to find out two types of things the two calculations can be possible that is acceleration you can find out and as well as distance you can find out acceleration can be can be taken out by slope the slope of this uh, the slope of this graph is going to give you the acceleration and the slope can be uh, uh, you can find out slope by by what by dividing v upon t okay when you will get v upon t you are going to get the acceleration and then here you are going to have what the distance how to find the distance so definitely here you are going to get the distance by uh, finding the area of this triangle as i have told you that uh, whatever area is covered by the this uh, graph and the time axis that area is going to give you the distance so with the help of this graph as well we'll get the uh, we'll get the uh, distance and the, here the distance is given by half the area of rectangle since this is half of this whole rectangle so we can write it as half the area of a rectangle again this is for the case of speed time graphs okay now the second case is about when the initial velocity is not equal to zero in such cases your acceleration could be taken out by just subtraction of these two velocities that is final velocity minus initial velocity and what about distance distance is again the same thing that the area which is covered by the by the uh, you can see here that the area which is covered by this uh, graph that means uh, um, uh, this graph and the time axis so the this area which is covered here is uh, in the shape of a trapezium so we can say that here the distance covered is equal to the area of the trapezium and area of the trapezium will be taken out by what this this is this plus this that means sum of parallel sides so this and this now when we are going to take the sum of parallel you can see this is parallel and this is parallel so sum of the parallel sides into height this will become the height in between these two parallel sides and divided by 2 this is the area of trapezium now a, here area uh, to to get the value of this you can see it is initial velocity u and then final velocity is v that means here this distance will be v so u will get v so u plus v into t are divided by 2 is going to give you the distance of uh, the motion in this case distance of the body uh, distance covered by the body in this case okay then the last one is so we have covered b part also already we have covered a, a speed time graph a part already done 
this is the b part and then there is another part c in the third case we are having in a speed time uh, graph case uh, we when in this case speed is uh, uh, in such a way that it changes at a uniform rate and in such cases we don't get uniform acceleration in such cases we get non uniform acceleration and and we get a curved line there is no straight line curve uh, there is no straight line graph we will just get a curved line and it is just like this which is plotted over here so in this case also distance can be uh, can be uh, find uh, can be taken out by uh, area enclosed between speed time curve and the time axis so this is all about your quick review i hope you have understood graphical representation uh, of motion very uh, clearly and still if you have any doubt you can ask you can comment you can uh, have any of the queries in the comment box and please like share subscribe the channel so that you can get the updates uh, as soon as it is being uploaded thank you very much